Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and in this video we're going to take a look at FaceTime on the iPad 2. Now of course FaceTime is very familiar to anybody who has an iPod Touch, 4th generation, an iPhone 4, or a Mac with the FaceTime app. So when you first get your iPad and you launch the FaceTime app, you'll first be confronted with a logon screen, and what you'll have to do is enter in your Apple ID. Once you do that, click Sign In. Now here you're prompted to enter an email address. This is what people will use through the FaceTime app to contact you. Now you don't have to use this email address. In fact, I'm going to enter my Gmail address. So now it's verifying my Gmail address, DetroitBorg at gmail.com. Now once I've verified my email address, I can go ahead and call my iPad. So I'm going to use my iPod Touch and call up my iPad. And accept the call. So of course on the iPad you see what the iPod Touch is seeing and you can flip around on the iPod Touch. So you can see my wall here. And on the iPad you have several options as well. You can move your preview down so this is what the user on the iPod Touch is seeing. Now when I'm muting my mic you can see the mute icon in the window. Now if you want to change the cameras just tap the camera icon. And now the iPod Touch is seeing the uh, camera on the back of the iPad. You can also rotate the iPad. You can see the iPod Touch now has a landscape view. If I rotate the iPod Touch, the iPad user now has a landscape view. Now to end the call, just tap End. Now if you ever want to change your email address associated with your FaceTime account, just go to Settings. Go to FaceTime and change your email address up here. Now the situation is a little different with the iPhone 4, so when you call an iPhone 4, you would use their telephone number, you wouldn't use an email address, so there's a little difference there. So once again, this is Detroit Borg with a look at FaceTime for iPad 2. Thanks for watching.